Tough story to cover indeed. Uh, opening statements included photographs of the young victim allegedly taken by William Shine and his wife who were shopping the girl around to prospective buyers. The prosecution's star witness testified that he offered to pay $5,000 for her, but it was only in an effort to protect her. I knew my father was going to buy her, so I, and I just, uh, you know, he assumed that I was like my father, so I said, you know, what do you want? For. Star witness Anthony O'Hickey told the jury his father sexually abused him as a child. He gave WMUR permission to identify him as a victim for this story. How do you feel about your father? Scared of him. Why are you scared of him? Uh, most evil person I know. Okay. In what way? How is he evil? Uh, he likes to rape, molest, torture, kill, hurt people for fun. O'Hickey told the court when his father bragged about buying a fresh teenager, he had to do something. So we went to Northfield Police and agreed to wear a wire. He told the court he met William Shine last November about a part for his truck. But the conversation quickly turned to the teenager. He asked me if I thought she was good looking and sexy. And how old was she? 14. O'Hickey testified there was another man at the meeting who was in his 40s and interested in the teen as well. He was all over her, groping her, touching her, uh, wouldn't leave her alone. Do you know, did you see where he was touching her? Yeah. Where? Uh, her private parts, I mean. O'Hickey was an emotional witness who cried several times while explaining to the jury that he offered to buy the teen to save her from abuse, but pretended he wanted her for sex. That night, O'Hickey took the teen out for dinner. He said it was an effort to get her away from the other man. She started doing letters with her French fries, making hats with her French fries, just like a kid. And, uh, it made me angry, real angry. The defense objected several times during testimony today and during opening statements urged the jury to keep an open mind, saying that their client and his wife were desperately poor, trying to come up with money to support their family. Testimony is expected to continue here in Concord over the next three days. We're live in Concord this evening. Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.